We've all encountered it before, proof texting. Perhaps a friend or a theologian or somebody like that presents a text to you and they use it to back up a particular theological claim. And usually it's a few sentences long and they will say that this proves the theological uh, position that they're maintaining. Now, what are some of the things that we need to consider whenever we look at proof text. Well, number one, we need to consider the historical context, right? We have to understand what was going on whenever this writer wrote whatever they did. You have to know what was going on historically, because often that will indicate uh, certain nuances that we should account for. That might perhaps change uh, the way we interpret uh, whatever they wrote. There's also the linguistic context. We have to be able to understand the particular person who wrote what they did in their own language. If we don't know the linguistic context, we might think that they mean uh, one thing when in fact they mean another. Just because they use a particular word that we use doesn't mean that they used it in the exact same way that we use it. Language changes over time, so it's in important to understand the linguistic context. There's also the entire context that we should take account of. And what I'm talking about here is their entire corpus. We need to know everything that they wrote because often that will balance out some of the judgments and conclusions we might make uh, if we did not actually look at the entire context and just saw the proof text. We need to see what they said, but also what they said elsewhere. Because, that, again, that often helps balance things out. So if we are uh, paying attention to the historical context, the linguistic context, how they use language, and then, of course, the entire overall context of their corpus, we're much better off in properly understanding uh, what is being presented to us in the proof text. And then we can better judge whether or not the person who is presenting this is uh, perhaps reaching when it comes to their conclusion, or if there's some merit to what they want to conclude based upon the proof text. So I'm not saying proof texting is bad. I'm just saying that there are some dangers involved. So be cautious and uh, pay attention to these things that will help you whenever you're doing apologetics or just your own personal edification and trying to understand history and theology. Thank you for watching.